Good morning. I of course left very late. So I'm uh, in Czech Republic still. Germany! Made it to Austria. Harley Davidson, Tenor Estimate. Almost there. Couch to ready number four, and this is the first leg to the Croatia. Um, I stopped at Sigim um, number two, organized by Scott the Austria here in Austria, and um, it was a meetup, which was really cool. I was arriving 24 hours late and very tired. My plan is to cross those mountains over there. Uh, to Italy, then from Italy going to all the way down to Slovenia, then cross a little stretch in Slovenia and go to Croatia. Now, the COVID problems which I had seems to be solved, so the transit is an exception and I don't need to have a negative COVID test. I can basically go in and go out. The rally is happening, there's no COVID issues, so routes are already um, available for download. They have the, um, not the special app, but they have an app which they recommend using. So I'm going to go through that. There is a guide how to do it. And I thought that I will be only one Tenera 700. Unfortunately, uh, there is a, a guy from Denmark coming uh, as well on Tenera. I do have issues a little bit with my gear uh, because I'm using the neck brace for the first time and uh, i'm not entirely sure if it fits because uh, i think the problem is that i'm using the brace together with my riding jacket as well as the hydro pack and unfortunately this neck brace is probably not compatible with the hydro pack so i have really sore shoulders already after one day it was um, nine hours riding and i have some updates about the bike in terms of changes to the bike uh, not much really, specifically for the rally, if you're speaking about that. Um, the tires, obviously, the Moto's traction to ADV. I got the second-hand uh, offer on them, so I got them. Headlight protection, because it's a rally, uh, I cannot imagine uh, stones flying all over the place. High fender, so rally and mud seems to be pretty much going together. Uh, the low fender was a little bit of a risk, so I decided to go with the high fender. Together with the high exhaust, this has been um, custom made in Punk Motor Garage in Czech Republic. So this is a prototype, that's the Acerbis fender with the polycarbonate um, spacer. And then we did um, custom brake lines. Not sure if I'm going to need it. For the overlanding, definitely not, but for the rally, it may be useful. Now, another big change is the obviously high exhaust. Now, that comes from Morocco. You can see that I damaged the swing arm pretty badly during the training in Morocco. So I wanted to solve this. The only way how you can do it is to make a custom pipe over there, cut the exhaust, weld it on, and um, happy days. Now I wanted to keep the uh, passenger footrest, so that's what we did with a little bit spacer over there. And the major issue on the Tenera doing this is basically that the bracket, which holds the exhaust in the back, is actually welded onto the main frame or subframe. So without cutting and welding, this is not possible. So it's a custom job. Now. Um, the last few changes for the rally is the anti-slip patches, but I'm not entirely sure if they will do anything. And then um, cleaned up the cockpit, which I was already posting about. So I have the bracket for the TPMS because I have Altex system, tubeless one. I have wireless charging and the mount for the phone because that's the main GPS navigation for this rally. On this side, the only changes again that's for overlanding not for the hello that's the punk motor um, is the toolbox so i modified the outback crash bars to fit the toolbox now that will go off the bike for the rally as well as the 
uh, Moscow motor plates and the rotor packs. The rear rack is gonna stay as a protection because I probably will drop the bike a lot. And in terms of suspension, this is the first rally, so I didn't really want to invest any money into it. What I have is that I have a stronger spring in the back. Uh, again, that's not the rally stuff, that's the, what I need. So I have put the 80 Newton meter spring in the back. In terms of the front, I have not done anything to it. People say that it may help if I drop the bike five, five millimeters in the forks down. So that is potentially on the plate for the rally. But other than that, this is the rally setup and let's see.